Okay, we're going to check your work. I hope you had a lot of fun. First, we're going to look at this one. Number one, we have a picture frame that has a picture of a dog in it. We have an empty vase. Can we have something happen the same way the picture changed here? It was blank, and then there was a picture in there. We have an empty vase. Which one would go here? So we have a cup. I don't think that would be the same. We have a vase. We have a vase of flowers. And we just have a flower. This one showed the picture frame again, and it had a picture in it. So we see the vase again, and this one is going to be letter A. It's not going to be letter C because the vase isn't there. Here we have two different kinds of mugs, glasses, okay, that would hold liquid. Here we have a plate, which would hold food. Can you think of any of this? This would hold a liquid, hold some tea. This might hold cereal. And this one you would use to eat your cereal. So if we're looking to hold food, I think letter B would be a good choice here. This one's pretty funny. We have an octopus, and then he's on roller skates or a skateboard. So he's moving. Now we have a frog. Is there one that shows the frog moving? We have milk. We have a tadpole. And then we have a frog. Looks like he's playing some football, and he's moving there. So that would be our choice to make it match the first set. And I got one more right here. We have a glove or a hand. Could be either or. And then the other one has a hand or glove with a little bow on it. Here we have a, looks like a Christmas stocking. That's pretty plain right now. Can we have it have a bow or something on it like the change that happened here? All right, so we have a hand. We know this one will be a choice. Here we have a foot that doesn't have any kind of sock on it. And then we have a stocking that has, looks like has some holly on it. So this would be our choice here. Okay, so the four that you guys are working on were A, B, C, 